Did ancient Egyptians use electricity? There is a temple in Dendera dedicated to Hathor, goddess of love, happiness and the afterlife. This very temple has an almost identical building at Edfu, dedicated to Horus, son of Osiris and Isis, and often related to Hathor as her love partner. But despite the several similarities, there is a fundamental difference. Dendera's temple has a basement, and in that basement we can find one of the most controversial representations of the ancient Egyptian culture, the so-called Lamps of Dendera. When you look at that wall carving, it is quite easy to relate what can be seen in the picture to a modern light bulb. You can even see the glowing filament inside. Some even talk about batteries or generators being also depicted just below the ancient bulb. But if you have the chance of asking the official archaeology, the perspective radically changes. The so-called lamps are nothing but the lotus flower blooming and giving birth to the filament, which is a snake. It all represents the creation of the universe together with the birth of the god Aton or Amon, which the ancient Egyptians conceived as the primigenial god. Amon means the hidden one. Amon Aton himself can be seen below the so-called lamp holding it, and what has been thought to be a generator or battery is a depiction of the Jiet or the spinal column of Osiris. Something similar occurs with the Great Pyramid of Hufu, Cheops. If you ask anybody about the pyramids, everybody will answer you that they are tombs. And despite it being what the official history and archaeology defends, the real truth is that no mummy has been found in any of the over 100 pyramids discovered to date in Egypt. If we talk about the specific case of Giza pyramids, we normally refer to them as Hufu, Hafre, and Menkaure. In Spanish we name them Keops, Kefren, and Mikurinos, after the Greek translation of the original names. But today we don't have any reliable clue that help us know if the pyramids were really the tombs of the above mentioned pharaohs, or if they had a different purpose. And things got worse if we tried to understand how such megalithic constructions could be built in the ancient times if we are unable to reproduce them now with our modern technology. There is one curious theory about the Great Pyramid, which defends it to be an electric generator, a water pump or a power plant. This theory defends that the underground chamber, also known as the Chaos Chamber or the Unfinished Chamber, was flooded by the waters of River Nile, which ran very near in ancient times. So the pyramid would take water from the Nile and it would go to the chamber just above it, the Queen's Chamber, which will produce electricity using the water. And this electricity will go to the King's Chamber to be stored and used when needed. It is a funny theory, and despite we know that electricity already existed before Franklin played with his guide, we don't have enough proofs to tell this theory as the truth. Nevertheless, the real fact is that, despite the lack of evidence and all the mysteries that surround the ancient Egyptians, we can guess that this ancient civilization had a technology quite superior than the one expected for a 5,000 year old civilization. And this simple thought is powerful enough to continue investigating and learning from those clever minds from our past.